get shelched today good morning how is everyone welcome to shelts guitar this morning i thought i'd bring you in here and uh let me let you uh see me do a shielding shielding jobs are uh, quite an important part for your guitar as a uh, especially single coil guitar as they are known to be carriers of the dreaded noise <laughs> and feedback so this puts an end to that so I thought I'd bring you by and let you see me do one do another one I should say the object here is to cover all the areas that the electronics are in Make sure they're covered with the copper. Yeah, I always run a little bit up over the top. So when I do the back of the pick guard, it makes connection. If it doesn't make a connection, it's not a complete circuit. It's kind of useless at that point. I run it right up there. Pull it down. Make sure it's making good contact. This one's almost up to the top, so just a little piece right there will suffice. Some people say, oh, you don't need that much. Better too much than too little. <clears throat> That's what I say. I'll run it right over the top of these. right down there. I don't know if you can see that, but it comes right down inside and makes a nice connection. I'll run this right down the center. Pencil eraser works great. To uh, press it into the corners. I like using a pencil. Uh, has not had the eraser used much. As it'll have a nice square edge on it. It can get right down in there. Almost come up where it's at. I'll fix that right here. I 
There we go. Sometimes you got a little spot in there that's not covered. I just cut a small piece. Plenty big enough to overlap a lot. I got another spot right there. Yeah, this will make your guitar super quiet. Been doing quite a lot of fret jobs lately. Got some more fret jobs this week. So if I decide to take the time, I'll, uh, I'll make a video of another fret job. Try to be specific enough you can learn something from it. Not always like that, so uh, I'll just keep making them. And hope I include stuff that I left out the last time uh, that you didn't see. As you see, this can take a lot of copper. And I don't scrimp. That means I don't use it sparingly. <laughs> American slang there, in case you don't know that one. I don't scrimp on it. I, uh, I use, make sure I use plenty. Yeah, pencil eraser works great for getting in the corners here. Gotta love that. much than not enough. You know, every professional has experienced feedback during their show. Nobody likes to hear the feedback. Doesn't help. Okay, so 
as you can see we've got this all taken care of now we're going to uh, finish up what the uh, guitar manufacturers failed to do I'm going to put shielding all these places that they missed I must admit though I I like to look at these pickups. Here's they have a copper back underneath the uh, underneath the magnets there. Or ceramic bar magnets. Okay, but I prefer Onico to get that more uh, SRV or womanly tone strats are known for. This is a copy of the strap, so you'd think they would want that, but uh, they take the cheaper way out. But these don't look like any cheap pickups. They look like they're very nice. I did plug this in to test it before the owner left. Mr. George, thank you for bringing your guitar to me. I am going to make sure you're very happy. So this is how it's, uh, this is how I get it. Mm. I'll just cut, trim the extra off it. And I just press it along there so I can see where it needs trimmed. Grab my trusty razor blade. And trim. I will save that. I was going to need it. Too expensive to just throw it away. Such as a spot like here. This is the spot most luthiers shielding you will not come up here and do this they think that does it that does not do it it doesn't do it unless it makes a connection with the shielding underneath the object with shielding is to make a faraday cage if you have just this here and nothing there this is just a grounding plate that's it it's not blocking anything as the owner of this guitar can tell you. That's why he's getting shielding. It's noisy. So, uh, you make a Faraday cage. Then no stray RF signals get in. Your guitar becomes super quiet until you hit the strings. As anybody who has had shielding done by me can attest, their guitars are very quiet and they're loving it I have guys that bring me their guitars and ask me to do the shielding because they did shielding or just didn't work it didn't work because they didn't create a Faraday cage they just put a few pieces down didn't know to bring it up over the edge so it makes contact. I've seen some beautiful guitars and they got shielding in the cavities, but none of it comes up over the edge. And the back of the pick guard's not done. And when they get too close to the amp, their guitar's like, what? Feedback like crazy. And they don't know why. They think, oh, the shielding ain't not all is cracked up to me. It doesn't work. Yes, the shielding does. 
but if you don't know how to do it, no, it won't. <laughs> so they think they did it right and they blame the shielding, but it's not the shielding. The shielding does what shielding is supposed to do when it's installed correctly. It's not hard once you understand the concept. But, you know, at the same time, it, it's a learning curve like anything because you don't want to put shielding in places it shouldn't be and you cause uh, problems for yourself. You don't want wires or terminals or anything like that <clears throat> hitting the shielding. So it does need to be installed correctly or you will have problems. Well, hope you had a great weekend. We went to uh, Cantos to uh, listen to some good indie music. I've had a few friends ask me, what's indie music? Indie means it's independent music. Independently produced. They don't have a commercial record label or something they just uh create on their own homegrown music original not your american top 40 thank god <laughs> that stuff i can barely call it music <laughs> but indie on the other hand great music done by locals very talented people Love it, love to support them. Always happy when I get invited. I try to make it every time. Can't, you know, but I try. Like anybody else, I have you know, my family and I gotta take care of them first. But if I can make it, I for sure will come. So if you ever wanna invite me, please do. Can't make it, don't take it personal, it just means I have other obligations. You can believe I will always do my best to make it. I'm doing a little bit overkill here, but it's just because I like my jobs to look neat and tidy and not just sticking out all over the place, you know. I only need to put it to maybe here so that it connects with this edge but I go I go wide <laughs> I do that because you should be proud of what you're doing so yeah. Uh, even though even though that has aluminum foil which uh, to me is crap <laughs> I will still run piece there because I just want to make sure I have a good connection don't trust it otherwise Customer complaining this fiber switch is noisy. I tested it, he's right, it is noisy. And the problem with that is it's dirty. This open crack right there, dust and everything just gets down in there. And uh, then you got noisy pots, noisy guitar. So. 
So uh, that's what I was saying. Dirt gets down in there and dirties up the five-way switch. It just needs cleaned. When I hear that, I will take off all the pots and clean them also. A little preventive maintenance. Generally, if your pots are dirty, just grab the knob and go back and forth quickly. Do that for a minute. And then your pot is no longer noisy. <laughs> All right, there it is. It just gets noisy because it gets dirt and such down in there. There I go, being wasteful. Yeah, I try to bend uh, copper around, around curve. <laughs> Doesn't work to get. I still try. <laughs> so, Kanto uh, this this past weekend was great. Seen a lot of you guys that I know. That was cool. Got to hear you play, other than on my uh, porch here. <laughs> you guys really sound great, awesome. I am going to look into, uh, look into Kanto and what they're doing and uh, what I can do to help support and promote Indy. I do appreciate you guys. A lot. You're the reason I'm doing this. There we go. That puppy is shielded really well. That'll poke everything back through. Uh, let me get my round file. There 
out which one it is. <laughs> stuff back into place. Washer and a nut. Hope you enjoy the videos. I like making them. I haven't made too many lately. Uh, it just takes a lot of time to edit them, cut them down a little bit so they're not so long and get bored and don't watch. This one I get spliced because I bumped my head against my camera and shut it off. <laughs> Okay, let's clean these up a little. Spray a little of that. Right on top of the pot. It'll go right down in there. And you just twist it back and forth. Wipe up the excess. Pots weren't noisy, so uh, it won't be noisy for a long time now. And then the five way, I'm just going to. Uh, we already got it out. This stuff will not hurt finishes. These little holes in the pot. I, I shoot a little in there. Spray a little on there, work it back and forth. And then wipe up the excess. Sometimes I use it that has lube. Sometimes I use the type that doesn't have any lube in it. This one here has a little lube in it. That's because uh, you know, things get a little older, they start to corrode. That lube kind of nips that in the butt. I do like to use a little of it here and there. There it is. Whew, need to clean up. Sorry about the headshot. <laughs> Another piece there somewhere. Find that in a minute. Let's tighten these up. All right, I'll bring you back after I screw this back together, get the setup done, and you can uh, you can hear it play. This is starting to drag out, and I'm sure you're getting bored. <laughs> so I'm just going to tighten all this stuff up, put the extra screw back in there, 
put it back together, get the trim mellow on it, set it all up so the owner can be very happy. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, got it back together. Strings on it. Missing a spring here. So we're gonna replace that right now. Loosen up this string. That's I should have done first, but it's all right. Now this spring doesn't exactly match perfectly, but it will do the needed job. That's the important part. That will push the saddle forward when you back off the screw. And for sure we'll do that. to get this baby intonated. Of my boss tuner, right up there. I'll start down here at the evening. And my tuner just shut off. Been on a while, automatically shuts off. Perfect. Kind of like that. B. That's good. Huh. I only guessed it. It did good. Well, Aria Pro 2, they know how to intonate. Can it be? No, nope, that's sharp. So if it's sharp, it's too short. It needs to be longer. And it looks like this screw has been squished down to nothing. That appears to be stripped. Just got it in there. That worked. That screw is as far as it can go. It's intonated. Now, uh, sorry guys, but uh, I already did the setup. I'm gonna bring you around here and uh, show you what else I did. Hold on. Okay. 
So, I checked the action. It's at 12,000, so at the seventh fret. That's with a K pole here at the first fret. I'm threading at the 17th fret. And I was at 12,000. Exactly what it's supposed to be. The nut, I did do a little work on the nut. Let me see if I can, can see that. There you go. You can see the top is nice and clean and white again. The screens were way down deep. They're really still a little deep. But the slots are a bit wide. So I don't see a necessity to make it more shallow. That's sitting up there on the nut like it should. That's a little hot, low, little low. Other than that, oh, no. looks good. Boo. Boo. So that concludes this one being set up, I'm a and uh, video. Ho hope you will join me again later. Thanks for uh, coming to Shelsa's Guitar. Have a good afternoon.